Okay, guys, we are in week six now, and we kind of have a unusual situation this week with the precautions being taken by the city and the university. It's not a cause for concern. It's just good to be cautious in, in, in things like this. And uh, I think that at the end of the day, uh, we're going to be um, thrilled that we took that that precaution. So um, fortunately for us, doesn't change very much. We still do our stuff online. Uh, but this week, we're kind of in between two units. The first one, um, if, if you go to the syllabus, by the way, I've actually updated that recently. I talk about how we're going to kind of do three different design units, per se. And we're kind of getting close, to, or I think we, we might be at the end of the first one, which was exploring and practicing space and balance and things. And I've kind of beaten that um, pretty good, and I think that we can move on from that. Uh, but now, sort of in between that and the next section, I think, you know, given also just the situation on campus, it might be nice to change things up this week and take a break from staring at the computer screen and um, being creative in the artistic sense. Um, but uh, I think to be good designers too, it'd be nice for us to be able to go out and look at designs in the real world and do some discussing and, and, and writing and uh, critiquing. And so look for a discussion soon posted under Module 5. Um, I have not quite developed that yet, but I think um, given the situation this week, you'll have plenty of time to attack that. It'll be a discussion where you respond to your classmates. Uh, so that's kind of the, the break or the in-between um, activity we're going to take between what we've been doing and what's coming up next. So look for that soon. I'll probably post that tomorrow. Okay. But today I do want to give you guys something uh, to take with you, and that is the review and critique of the ticket assignment. By the way, if you guys want to go back and make adjustments to your posters and turn in a second version of that, uh, based on what you've maybe done for your um, ticket design, you might see you know a better grade there because I think that the tickets overall are a better overall layout practice, um, and I think that you guys have some good stuff there um, in the poster stuff. But if you want to maximize that grade, maybe go back and make some adjustments based on what you've done here. Just a, a suggestion; you don't have to do it. But real quick. Uh, let's go through these and critique these real quick, and um, we'll wrap that up and send you on your way. Okay, so Bailey, I I think that uh, streamlining this this piece horizontally here and leaving space both south and north of the text allows someone to really kind of just focus in those areas that are important. Um, and in a space this small, it it does get tricky sometimes, um, but also I think it also allows for this gradient and this color, the way that you kind of design that to, you know, interact with the the person viewing this design. So, um, for example, it's if if this was all cluttered up, you wouldn't notice the fact that this really does have a nice change from dark to light, a nice even movement from from dark to light. It provides dimension, sort of. Um, it's a nice accent for a piece. Solid colors are awesome too, but sometimes um, adding in a gradient when you have space uh, to give a color effect is a nice touch, so I think that it was a good idea. Um, I like how clean your illustrations still are. That's something that we should probably all just continue to do. Um, and I think maybe maybe three fonts, some would argue, is too many, but I think in some cases, especially when the font is already kind of consumed by the logo, um, you should have the ability, if you can, back it up to do more. So I think overall it's strong showing, um, and uh, I'll provide you some more detailed comments when I grade the piece, but I think that you're looking pretty good. Anthony's looks um, really great, um, very, very uh, condensed version of his poster and added in some barcodes and things. and. It's overall just very, very, it's very, very slick and sleek, and things are um, pretty even. Um, you've got, you know, some smaller text that's kind of like little, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the word here, but um, I guess my main point is that the smaller text balances out um, with the larger things, and um, the things that you, that you, want to see more, that you need to see more, are larger, 
And I think the balance between text overall and different items in the layout is very, very smart. Uh, images are very, very clean. It looks very classy. It looks like it's for people that can pay um, more than 30 bucks. Um, but, you know, sometimes the flavor of your design will speak to just how, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, expensive the event is. I think this kind of gives off that more classy vibe, and it's a nice adaptation of what you did in your poster and moving that data, that information, into this dimension and laying it out along with other things too, adding in barcodes um, and uh, the samples um, in a way that's very, very easy to read and well balanced. So this is a great example of doing a lot and yet fitting everything in a way that makes it seem like it's not a lot. So Anthony, great job. Um, like the, uh, the small touches like crop marks and things like that. So keep up the good work, my friend. One, I, I will try to give one criticism for each person, not playing favorites. The one thing you could probably do here is add some detail to some of these images. I mean, it's nice. Um, these are nice and clean, um, but maybe a label of some kind would look slick and even more classy on uh, on a bottle. So I'm being nitpicky here because I can be, um, but uh, that might be a nice final touch. Melissa, this is an improvement even of the poster because everything is readable. It flows well. It is laid out in a way that makes sense. Um, and putting these wine glasses as the five kind of, you know, markers for the samples is a nice, clever touch. Um, the gradient between pink you know, or purple and, and darker purple is is uh, intelligent because it doesn't require, it's not so intense that it doesn't make you have to change up colors of text as you go uh, left to right, right? So um, it's kept pretty neutral, but once you get over here, it's pretty dark. Once you get to the end over here, it's pretty light. But in the middle, it's pretty neutral and it's nice, easy color for either black or white to sit on, which is not always a very easy thing to do. So I like how this pops here. I like how this is the same font as this, so that's a nice, that's a nice adjustment. And I do like too that you have two total fonts in this piece. Things are spaced out nicely, um, and it's very readable. And I love the purple; I, I dig it quite a bit. Um, the only thing, maybe, and of course, I'm going to give at least one critique: um, spacing between these items. But I, I see what you what, what you're trying to do here, um, differentiating the white and the black, and making that the uh, separating indicator. Um, so it does work. Maybe that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Maybe it doesn't matter if these two are, you know, up against uh, this section because they're different colors. So that actually could be a clever choice too. So I don't want to necessarily say that's a bad idea. Overall, I love it. Uh, you're getting better every week. And I appreciate this design very, very much. Okay. And this, uh, on it's very, I, I love this. And I think that what you've done, um, and, and the fonts I think that you intended for the poster to be in are showing through here. Um, I think when I reviewed your last piece, I didn't quite, I didn't get the PDF of the poster, so um, some of the fonts that you chose for, I think the title perhaps, weren't coming through on my machine. But I can tell that, um, so I, I can see the mood that your font is setting in this piece and, and likely what it was also doing on, uh, on the poster. So what you've done here is you've taken, I can tell that you listened to some of the commentary from last week, which was just making, you know, all these flourishes and illustrations are absolutely dynamic and I love them. I love them. The way they sit on top or behind these, these numbers here is very, very cool. Um, that's a spot where people are going to be writing, you know, over the number, for example, or punching something or whatever. And so it's okay that that's kind of cluttered up over there and it actually draws attention there. So I, I love that, um, because it kind of like encourages people, Hey, you still can use these five samples, right? Um, I like just how readable this is now and how much the text works with, these other illustrations on the page. So I think in the poster, 
there might have been an issue or two with some overlappings once in a while with text and these illustrations. But the way that you kind of designed the text and the illustrations to work together in this and also include a fair amount of white space, it just, this is your strongest piece yet, and I'm very, very proud of this um, for you. Uh, I like some of these text treatments where you're just kind of squaring things off and moving things uh, perpendicular, and um, I think that it's very active. I think that there's balance between different um, sections of text. There's space. There's great space between lines of text here, um, and it's very, very dynamic. I love the touch of the icon, um, and the, if there's anything on this page, perhaps, maybe, that could be, could be improved. Again, I don't want to even say this, but... You know, this is still readable, so I'm not even going to say that. Um, overall, it's just a really great, great piece, uh, and I, I don't, I cannot, for the line for me, see something that I would change. So, I've kind of broken my own rule, but great job this week. Taylor, okay. Taylor, I like uh, the direction that you move this, and I like that you've adapted uh, the very unique style of your poster, and your, art your artistic style is very unique, and I love that it shows through in your designs um, for this piece. And you made it readable and still fun. It's got character. It's interesting. It's, like I always say to people, uh, for an, a fine artist to bring uh, their kind of unique abstractions into the graphic world is different and difficult. Um, you know, going back to Honest Piece here, um, this is very abstract too. Um, and so it's kind of, but it's kind of a different type. These are more like, you know, illustrations to provide a flourish and emphasis on certain things and to provide background artwork and to um, just, you know, they create the character of the piece and they're absolutely wonderful. Um, and in your case, you know, it's it's even more abstract because you're putting all this attention on these very intentional shapes, right? Um, so these are not actually drawn to create flourish or background or like to bring the whole piece together, even though it does at the end of the day. Um, the the wine bottle and these shapes and the way that you've kind of created that that design back there is very very intentional and I can tell that you're trying to um, make that the most important part of this and you're gonna be building you know you build the rest of the design around what you what you as the artist need to have in there and so I appreciate that about about you Taylor and I like that um, that this is still in here you didn't shy away from it uh, but you did find a way to kind of lead it off the page a bit and make it balanced uh, within itself. Um, you know, I do think maybe if you wanted to, you could probably bring this text uh, closer together with the line spacing, letting, uh, as it's called. Um, but overall, it's pretty readable. And I, I do see what you're doing with some of these background, like this uh, layered text here to make that pop. Um, and so, yeah, overall, it's it's a good piece, and I, I like that you've kept in your abstractions, and I like that you're still being yourself in your designs, and I don't want you to quit. Um, you're you're making huge strides in terms of balance and spacing and things like that, uh, and your art talent is going to come through no matter what if we can kind of take care of that other stuff. And I think that you are taking care of it, and it will come more naturally as we go. So, uh, and just so you guys know, I never even thought of a barcode, but that's pretty slick. I want to show you guys my piece real fast. I think that's fair. Oh, where is it here? Let me open this up. Ticket. Ticket. Okay, so, um, you know, it's the process was very similar to your guys' process. It's just taking all the elements and finding a way to make it smaller and still comfortable. It is kind of uncomfortable when you're doing it because you're thinking to yourself, how on earth is someone going to be able to read this? Um, but I was actually at the event this past weekend and I saw the tickets and stuff. And you'll be surprised, you know, when things get printed, they are bigger than you think on screen. I think that we sometimes minimize um, our just, I don't know, perceptions 
sometimes when we're on screen. Um, but it, it does work. And so that's why I've encouraged you guys to think smaller at first and see where it takes you um, because you kind of have to see what you're working with in that way. Not a whole lot here that's going to really blow the door off the hinges. Um, it's basically all my information just resize in different in different places in different parts. Um, I, I try to find the right balance between everything. It, it's it is tricky. I think that I did fine. I think that it does work, but I don't think that I took any kind of creative leaps either between the poster and this piece. Um, this was the just easy way for me to do the the sampling thing. It, it is what it is. I think you guys actually found even more creative ways to include that. But anyway, this is my piece. This was actually a perforation. Uh, Anthony did one in his, uh, but they actually did request that in this design. So that's the ticket design. Um, and in closing of this assignment, real quick, I'm proud of the steps we've taken um, from the first assignment to this one. Um, thank you guys. I hope that you guys are watching these videos uh, and listening. Um, you know, I, I don't want it to become a thing where it's a huge chore to make it through the video um, but you know we don't do a whole lot of lecturing or anything so I think that it's fair for us to each spend time in looking at our own designs listening to critiques um, listening to each other's critiques listening to excuse me listening to critiques of each other's work also and seeing what we each have done uh, and I think that there's benefits in that so I encourage you guys to make it all the way through these I know these kind of end up longer than I want them to but I am really trying to be wholesome in my critique and, and give you guys information that's going to benefit you because I've seen you guys apply it every week. Uh, so I encourage you guys just to keep listening, keep working at it. Uh, I, I promise I'm going to do my best in pinpointing those those smaller areas I think that each of you guys can kind of tweak. Uh, I think that also benefits all of us to be students of each other and seeing what each other does and uh, being inspired by that. So I appreciate you guys, and thanks for being diligent, and thanks for working hard. Uh, I'm very excited about what's coming up, and we'll have some more work to do in the next unit. Um, and uh, it'll still be fun, and I'm looking forward to the progress there. And then at the end of it all, we'll combine everything that we've kind of learned together in uh, a final project, if you will, and that will be a lot of fun. More on that later. Uh, stay safe, guys, this week. Don't go to the labs if you don't want to. I just figured let's do a writing assignment this week just in case you guys want to um, just stay inside your dorms and it's perfectly fine if you want to do that. So look for that being posted over the next couple days. I want to kind of think about what I want to do here and make it something that incorporates both what we've been doing and what we are about to do also. So great job. I, I love the progress and I think that you all are doing very, very well. So. Um, look for that stuff to be built out in Module 5 coming up very soon, and I'll post an announcement to help you guys kind of stay alert. I appreciate you. Stay safe, and if you have any questions, of course, reach out.